Hello kings and queens and welcome to another week with Asian Queen. So this week we are doing something very special. It's actually a series and we're going to be talking about pastors and prosperity gospel. Well, this is not so much about pastors and criticizing Christianity or stuff like that. This is about looking at what make these men and women of God so successful and rich. But before we start, I want to ask you a question. Why is your pastor so successful? Is it because he is the man after God's heart? Is it because he is the chosen one? Is it because he has a special anointing? No. Your pastor is rich and successful because he is a successful salesman and you are his customer. You are the person making your pastor rich. As a matter of fact, if you stop buying the products that your pastor sells to you, he will stop making money. Well, as the name suggests, a salesman is practically a man or also a woman who sells a product. Traditionally, a salesman was a man who walked from door to door selling products to people in their homes. These days, your pastors are no longer walking from door to door. Perhaps they did so at the beginning of their career, but now they have evolved into these massive business tycoons. Like your pastors are super businessmen, rich and famous. Today, as a case study, I'm using Pastor Chris Oyakilome, the founder of Christ Embassy. He founded this church in 1987. And as of today, he has more than 13 million followers all over the world. He has branches in many countries. And the man is personally worth $50 million. How did he do it? Well, the secret is not a secret. Unless, of course, you do not want to admit that your pastor is just a smart business person. But if you want to look at religion and religious leader from a very objective point of view then you will understand that whatever your pastor did to become rich is exactly what every other successful and rich person did to become rich there are many factors of course that contribute to success there are many ways one can become rich famous successful or whatever the person wants to be the secrets to becoming rich can actually be summarized in five key points or what I call the five ingredients of success. What are they? Number one, talent, skill. Number two, opportunities. Number three, resources. Number four, attitude. And number five, luck. What is talent and what is skill? And what is the difference between the two? Well, talent is a natural giving ability. So it is something that you are usually born with. Some people are born as talented singers, dancers, composers, uh, painters, you know, artistic talent, creative talent mostly. A skill is an ability that you acquire. So you have to go and learn it. Now, a talent is not necessarily a skill. A talent becomes a skill when you master it, you train it, you exercise it, and you make it your own, and you develop it to the point where you can teach other people. Now you have a talent, you have a skill. Now it's time to look around to see what opportunities you have. The people living in Nigeria usually say that they have difficulties accessing opportunities, or that opportunities are scarce. But the truth is, there are many opportunities in Nigeria. What is lacking? are the resources which is the number three the truth is most nigerians struggle financially and without money you cannot access opportunities like you know a course where you can learn how to do something or a course where you can perfect a skill or a talent that you already have even go to the university is expensive and the best schools and the best courses are usually offered at such a high price that if you are not earning a certain amount of money that is way above the minimum wage of 30,000 Naira, you cannot access them. Many Nigerians live with less than a dollar a day. And 70% or over 70% of us live below the poverty line. That is to tell you how economically ravaged the country is. Now, I understand that getting resources is difficult, which is why it can be good to, you know, come together. For example, you have an idea for a business, but you do not have the resources. 
No problem. You can look for someone or people who share a similar idea with yours or who are willing to invest in your business. Many people, even in the first world countries, still use angel investors to kickstart their business. Mark Zuckerberg, for example, received an investment of $500,000 at the beginning of Facebook. When he started Facebook, he didn't have money. He was a college student. Yes, he comes from a good family and all that, but he wasn't the one who put in the money. He was just the mind behind the concept of Facebook. He was the one doing the programming, the coding and everything. But the person who was putting in the money was someone else. Because if you have an idea that is worth 100 million naira, but you only have 10,000 naira in your pocket, then it is time to go out there and rack up funds. Another way of creating resources is becoming yourself a resource or you can use another person as a resource if you do not have any talent or you do not have any skills why not invest in someone else's talent or in someone else's skills you don't have to be the one to come up with the idea you can instead be the investor or you can instead be a manager what do we mean by attitude like I said in my video about attitude and behavior, I said attitude is the way you feel about something. If you want to be successful, you need to have a positive attitude towards dedication, towards hard work, and towards failure. You need to see failure as part of the journey to becoming successful. Because if you fail once, and then because you failed, you decide you don't want to carry on anymore, guess what? You would have failed forever. You do a self-assessment to see what went wrong, and then you can try the same path again, but with a different mindset, or you can try a different path. And the last thing I said is luck. Now, people say there is no such thing as luck, everything is like a coincidence. Well, there is actually such thing as luck. There are people that are extremely lucky in this world, like they just have things falling on them anyhow. So yeah, and if you are born in Nigeria, I'm sorry to say this, but you have been practically reduced a lot when it comes to luck. I can't really say anything about that because unfortunately it is not something that depends on you. You can't choose where you are born, you can't choose in what family you're born, you can't choose in what circumstances you're born. It's about using what you have to try and make your life better for yourself. To summarize, let me do a quick recap. First we said, discover your talent or acquire a skill. Number two, look around you for opportunities. Number three, if you do not have resources, you can get people to invest in your business, you know, rack up funds from friends and family, or you can yourself become an investor if you do not have any talent or skill whatsoever. Number four, we said attitude. Attitude is extremely important, and I will never stop saying this, and I will explain better in my next video. And last, we said luck. And unfortunately, this is not something that we can decide, so we're just going to hope that, gosh, let's be lucky. Luck fall on me. <laughs> and that is all for today. Next time, we'll be discussing in particular how your pastor became successful by using these five key points to analyze his or her career. I will see you now. Bye-bye.